Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We are uh, looking at uh, rally flows. We have finished uh, discussions on uh, the concepts of rally flows, uh, theoretical part, and also the equations. So let's apply them. Uh, always uh, remember uh, the rally curve. Uh, it's very important. So if you can keep this in mind, uh, that uh, this is the qualitative description of how a rally flow a rally curve looks like and these uh, in here stagnation temperatures keep changing. So, one should look at stagnation points also and uh, there is a maximum entropy point which is for Mach number equal to 1 and there is a point uh, where there is maximum um, enthalpy or T is temperature is maximum. Uh, subsonic branch is at the top and supersonic branch is at the bottom and heat addition always drives the flow towards uh, sonic conditions. Maximum amount of heat that can be added is at the uh, sonic point which uh, yeah, at the uh, critical point. So, if you take any point and uh, take the critical point the difference of stagnation temperatures will tell you the maximum heat that can be added. So, this is the highlight. Now, let us look at uh, some of the problems. Uh, the uh, This is problem number 1, the Mach number at the exit of a combustion chamber is 0 0.9. So, always useful to draw a schematic, uh, a constant area duct and uh, Mach number at exit M2 is 0 0.9. And ratio of stagnation temperatures at exit and entry. So, T02 by T01 is given 3.74. If pressure and temperature of the gas at the exit are 2.5 bar, P2 is 2.5 bar and T2 is uh, 1000 degree centigrade uh, respectively. Uh, determine Mach number pressure temperature. So, we need to know M1, P1, T1. Uh, heat supplied what is Q and the maximum heat that can be supplied and then Q star corresponding to the entry conditions. Okay. So, gamma is given, gamma is 1.3 please make a note of that and Cp is given 1.218. So, uh, for this uh, what do we look at? So, we know T02 by uh, T01 and we know what is uh, M2. So, from there uh, we should be able to uh, get what is T01 by uh, T01 star and then therefore get M1. Uh, is T02 known? It is this uh, temperature that is static temperature is known. So, T2 is 1273 Kelvin and T02 is not known, but Mach number is known. So, uh, we directly go and look at the um, isentropic relations and find out what is T02 by or T2 by T02 and T2 by T02 is uh, 0 0.8916 for um, M2 equal to 0 0.9. Uh, that means, T02 from here you can find it is uh, 1427.77 Kelvin. Okay, so, uh, T02 is uh, you can be easily found from here. Now, we know T02 and we know uh, T02 by T01. So, uh, T01 can be found uh, is T02 by T02 by T01 which is um, 1427.77 divided by 
which is uh, 381.756 Kelvin. Okay, so, we have found what is uh, the uh, inlet uh, stagnation uh, temperature. Now, how do we get what is the inlet uh, Mach number? Uh, so, T02 by T01 is T02 by T0 star divided by T01 by T0 star. So, they now lie on the uh, rally curve this T0 star is the same. So, uh, T02 by T0 star can be found for uh, Mach number is uh, 0 0.9 and uh, that is 0 0.9914. So, we get uh, T01 by T0 star is T02 by T01 divided by T02 uh, or T02 by T0 star divided by T02 by T01. Okay, yeah. So this uh, is correct. So uh, we'll get this value now. T01 by T0 star. Mm, this is uh, it turns out to be 0 0.265. Now, we can go back to the calculators or the uh, charts and find out what is the uh, corresponding Mach number and uh, Mach number M1 is 0 0.2597. So, we now have the value for uh, uh, the Mach number 0 0.2597. So, now how, how do we get uh, uh, the pressures and the temperatures? Uh, at uh, uh, the uh, entry for that we need p2 by p1 this is p2 by p star divided by p1 by p star for the rally flow and uh, uh, p2 by p star uh, is known uh, for uh, um, this particular case 0 0.9 mm, so p2 by p star is 1.12 divided by uh, P1 by P star for the Mach number 0 0.2597. Okay, so for that you need to find what is the uh, P by P star, and uh, therefore that P by P star is uh, 2.114 4, and therefore from here you can get uh, P1. So, P1 can be got from here uh, which is uh, 4.7187 bar. So, you see uh, that P1 is higher than um, P2 uh, which is to be expected in a subsonic flow. Uh, so, it is 0.9 it is a subsonic flow and therefore, P1 is greater than P2. What about uh, T2 by T1 similar lines T2 by T1. Um, is T2 by T star by T1 by T star and T2 by uh, T star we have the value uh, it is 1.0166 while uh, for uh, T uh, for this case which is T1 by T star which is 0. 395 and therefore, you can get T1, T1 is uh, 377.54 Kelvin. So, uh, that is uh, now a smaller temperature that is in keeping with the heat addition. What is the amount of heat added? Q, Q is Cp multiplied by T02 minus T01. In this case, it is 1.218 multiplied by T02 uh, minus T01. So, 1427.77 multi minus 381.7566 turns out to be uh, 1274.0 uh, 1274.04 kilojoules per kg. Okay. So, this is the uh, amount of heat added 
we know Mach number is 0 0.9 so it must be very close to uh, the Mach number 1 which is the maximum heat being added um, but uh, slightly less than that. So, what is the maximum heat that can be added? We know the uh, Mach number M1, M1 is known it is uh, 0 0.29. 259 0 0.2597 so corresponding to this we can get t0 by t0 star it can be found and that is uh, 0 0.265 and from here uh, from this point we can calculate what is t0 star which is because t0 is known so t0 star is uh, 1440.59 Kelvin. Therefore, maximum heat Q star that is maximum heat is Cp uh, T01 uh, T0 star multi minus subtracted by T01. Okay. So, this is what it is um, and this is uh, you can substitute the values uh, 1.218 uh, is the value for C p 218 uh, multiplied by 1440.59 subtracted by 381.756. So, uh, this is 1289.89 kilojoules per kg. So, it is very close uh, to uh, since we have a Mach number at M2 is 0 0.9, uh, we should uh, expect that this value will be very close to uh, the Q that was added in the previous case and they are quite close 1274 and 1289. So, uh, this uh, is a direct problem in uh, rally flow. Uh, so, uh, it is always uh, useful to keep this uh, uh, rally curve in mind when you are solving such problems uh, and uh, look at the charts, look at corresponding values of T0 by T0 star, P0 by P0 star, idea is the sonic condition remains a reference point. Okay, so, uh, now we go to the second uh, numerical, uh, in this air uh, the properties are given gamma equal to 1.4 R is 0 0.287 kilojoule per kg, C p is given kg Kelvin and the C p is also given flows through a constant area duct of diameter 0 0.02 and uh, that is connected uh, to a reservoir at a temperature of uh, 500 degree centigrade and a pressure of 500 kilo Pascal by a converging nozzle. Now, heat is lost at uh, the rate of 250 kilojoule per kg determine the exit pressure and Mach number and the mass flow rate for a back pressure of 0 kilo Pascal. What is meant by 0 kilo Pascal here is very low pressures at the uh, exit of this. Determine the exit pressure and Mach number when a normal shock stands in the exit plane of the duct. So, um, what is uh, given here is that there is an air reservoir, a much larger reservoir and that is getting connected to a duct by means of a convergent nozzle and then you have a duct where uh, there is heat is getting removed. So, heat is removed. So, you can see that in rally flows both heat can be added or heat can be uh, removed. It is not there is nothing constraining uh, heat removal process. So, we are having two processes here uh, there is a convergent nozzle uh, this is an isentropic flow. So, it is isentropic here in the nozzle and thereafter you have a rally flow here. So, a rally flow here and what is given is uh, reservoir uh, pressures and temperatures 500 degree centigrade. So, this is T naught and P naught is 500 kilo Pascal. So, always useful to draw uh, the rally curve and if in this case you are representing this rally curve. So, what is given is that um, at the exit the pressure is very low 
and considered as 0 kilopascal. What does this uh, imply? The flow should expand rapidly. If you have a conversion nozzle and you have a large pressure differential across it, uh, then the obvious uh, case is that uh, you will get Mach number 1 at the uh, minimum area point. So, at this point uh, Mach number should be equal to 1. Okay. Uh, and after that you have a rally flow and there heat is removed. So, let us uh, just see this point on a rally curve T s diagram. Okay. So, this is the case that is being discussed. Okay. Draw the rally curve, this is the uh, maximum stagnation temperature point and um, what you find is that uh, at the entry to the rally curve Mach number is 1, m is equal to 1. So, uh, the first case it should have gone from a stagnation temperature say T naught over here. Uh, from that point it has uh, uh, gone uh, uh, there has been an isentropic process uh, to uh, the point where Mach number equal to 1. Uh, thereafter heat is removed. So, it follows this Okay, this is a, a subsonic branch, but now if you key remove heat from this point, it will follow the supersonic branch because Mach number will uh, increase now. So, it will go to further supersonic values. If you remove heat here, it will go to supersonic values. So, it follows the supersonic branch over here okay, to another. So, T 0 will be lesser, it will be a lower uh, T naught because heat is being removed. So, uh, what else is given here? So, P 0 T 0 is given, P 0 1 is 500 kilo Pascal, T 0 1 is uh, 500 degree centigrade and heat removed is given, Q dot is 250 kilo joules per kg. Okay, C P is given, C P is 1.5. 0.045 kilojoules per kg and kg Kelvin okay. and uh, gamma is 1.4, R is 287 per kg Kelvin. So, what should be the uh, Mach number at 0.2 M2? How do you find this out? Uh, we know that heat is being removed. So, C p T 0 2 minus T 0 1 uh, is equal to minus q dot or uh, minus q. Uh, so, this is uh, 1.0045 applied by T 0 2 is not known minus T 0 1 is known 7 uh, 73 Kelvin, 773 Kelvin is 250 kilojoules. From here we get T02 which is uh, 524.12 Kelvin. From here we can get what is, uh, uh, so this uh, corresponds to directly if you do T02 by T01 this is equal to T 0 2 by T 0 star. Okay. So, uh, so, this is directly the uh, case where you have, so always we look at heat addition problem. So, this we should uh, see that star is here. So, this we are looking at is T 0 1 by T 0 2, okay, T 0 uh, that will be T 0 star by T 0. So, that gives you the value for T 0 by T 0 star directly which is um, 773 divided by 524.12 it is. Uh, so, from uh, T 0 2 by T 0 1 from this particular uh, point uh, we can always get uh, Okay, so, uh, it, it should be T 0 2 by T 0 star which is 524. So, we should be careful here 1 2 by 773 
this is the reference point and m2 is lower so this should be correct so this is not correct and this is equal to 0 0.678 uh, and the Mach number corresponding to this is 2.7613 we also have to look at the supersonic branch so if you look at the supersonic branch you will get the solution 2.7613 so m2 is known so now if uh, m2 is known then uh, it's uh, easy to find um, the rest of the values directly this is the star value that we are looking at so if we know p2 by p star then we will know the pressure for this the p2 by p star is 0 0.30557 so, and uh, we need to find the static pressure at this particular point at point 1 and this is at point 2. Uh, we know it is Mach number 1 and uh, the stagnation pressure is given. From there we can find um, using isentropic relations uh, P, P1, P1 is nothing but uh, P01 by uh, P star. From there, uh, we can find out uh, using isentropic relations what is p star or what is this pressure p star is 264.15 kilo pascal so once p star is known then p2 can be found mm, and uh, p2 is mm, 54 point three zero one three kilo pascal okay so, uh, it is consistent with the Rayleigh flow curve, pressure will reduce, so it has uh, reduced. Now, what about uh, mass flow rate? Mass flow rate can be found uh, m dot, m dot is uh, uh, rho 1 a 1 b 1 and uh, the area of the duct is given 0 0.02 uh, meter diameter is given. So, area is a 1 is pi by 4 multiplied by 0 0.02 square. Okay, so, area is uh, known which is something like 3.14159 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. Then P 1 is known, uh, T 1 is also known, T 1 can be found out. Therefore, uh, T 1 is from T01 by uh, T star an isentropic process T1 is 644 uh, Kelvin so 644.167 and uh, therefore you can find uh, the density rho1 rho1 is 1.4287 rho2 is 1487 kilogram per meter cube and the velocity corresponds to Mach number equal to 1 which is acoustic velocity at 644 uh, meter square 644 Kelvin which is acoustic speed is 508.74 meter per second. Therefore, mass flow rate is 0 0.228345 kilogram per second okay so uh, this was a, a different kind of a problem where uh, there was heat removal so uh, it is negative uh, heat uh, that is taken out minus q dot that is 250 mm, joules is taken out so therefore uh, t02 reduces that uh, has to be understood here and we should be careful when we look at this problem because the direction of heat transfer is in the opposite direction, but it is starting from the reference value. So, T01 is T0 star. So, T02 by uh, T01 if you take it becomes T02 by T0 star and therefore uh, 0 0.678 and therefore you get M2 and from M2 and M1 we can get all other values. So, with these uh, two problems, uh, we come to the end of uh, discussions on uh, Rayleigh flow. 
So, we have uh, uh, now looked at all kinds of uh, different uh, cases of uh, flows in uh, ducts, it can have variations in area, it can have uh, friction or it can have uh, heat addition with constant area. Now, uh, in real uh, applications there is no real distinction between all these three, uh, they may occur uh, together. So, uh, is it possible to analyze such flows here uh, when we looked at only single uh, uh, drivers like if you consider only constant area there is no friction, no heat addition then you are able to do isentropic flows and uh, get closed form solutions. Uh, then you considered the frictional uh, flow where you considered a constant area duct and there is only friction and uh, there you are able to uh, again get closed form solutions in Fano flow. Similarly, in Rayleigh flow, but what if there is a combination? So, we will introduce the topic which is a generalized quasi 1D uh, uh, analysis where you can have combinations of driving potentials how do we analyze this problem, what are some interesting kind of results that might come about in the next class. So, thank you.